am Alana. I am actually a Scottish revert into Islam. So my story with Islam actually begins with Uni Razak. Uni Razak is such a special university for me. First of all, when I came to Malaysia, I had no idea Malaysia was even this Muslim country. I didn't know anything about Malaysia. I came here, I started to see all the different religions and cultures here, and I was like, hey, this is all very interesting to me. I had a few extra courses that I could pick from, and one of those was Islamic study. When I was looking at this page of different courses I could take, I looked at Islamic studies and thought, hey, why not? Why not push myself to learn something completely new? Now, at this point, I only had one Muslim friend and she told me a little bit about Islam. And I remember Ramsha fasting and we were all like, oh, are you dieting? And, you know, Ramsha's a very petite lady. She doesn't need to diet. And she was like, no, I'm fasting for a religious reason. I remember asking Rumsha a few questions like, oh, can you drink alcohol? And she was like, no. And I was like, wow, okay. So when I came to Uni Razak, I pushed myself to try learn a completely new religion. So when I took this Islamic study class, I remember going to the class. I was like, I don't know what to expect. Will people already be Muslim there? Maybe they've been Muslim their whole life. And then there's me. And now that I think about it, I was not even dressed appropriately for this class. Like, okay, all right. of course I was not wearing Job, but I was wearing like a short sleeve. I was wearing like jeans with these like big holes in them. Like now that I think about it, I really should have dressed more appropriately for that class. But bless, my Islamic studies teachers was so sweet. She was like, Alana, come inside. She was like, Alana, what are you even doing here? And I was like, I just want to learn about it. All right, great, sit down. So that was just a three month, one term Islamic studies class. Basically, we learned about like the five pillars of Islam. We really explored the Hadith. And I really quite fell in love with the Hadith at that point a lot of things started to make sense in my head. And I remember my Islamic studies teacher, one of the first things she ever told me about Islam was, Islam is a religion that tries to preserve life at all costs. And I remember that just like flipped a switch in my head and I was like, wow, a lot of things make sense now. So over these three months, I really delved into Islam and I have honestly never researched something so much in my whole life during that time. In these three months, I was YouTubing, searching different things about the Quran. Like I was doing so much research because something inside of me just like got kind of lit on fire. I was like, wow, this is really interesting. This is not what I thought Islam was. The West portrays Islam in the media. I'm so shocked. It could not be so far from the truth. And I advise you, if you are looking to revert to Islam, if you're just watching this video because you're curious, why is this Scottish girl wearing a hijab and talking about Islam? I tell you now, go speak to your Muslim friends. Go ask them about Islam. Go ask them about the fundamentals. Why do they love to be Muslim? Why are they Muslim? You will get a lot of answers. And hey, I'm not saying that's the best thing to do. You should read the Quran and find the fundamentals of Islam for yourself. So this was pre-COVID. And then during COVID, it was time for fasting. It was time for Ramadan. And this was in 2020. And I decided, hey, I'm surrounded by my Muslim friends here in Bali. Why not give Ramadan a go? I was just focusing on the food fasting, to be honest with you. I had learned a lot about Islam just a few months prior, but I was focusing mainly on the food fasting because it was the first time I ever did this. And I really enjoyed the process from 20 to 2023. Those three years, I didn't give up on Islam. I was slowly going through, learning slowly, slowly more and more about Islam. Then it comes to this year. It came to January this year and I decided, hey, Something inside of me was like, Alana, you need to go to the mosque. I don't know why. I was so adamant I wanted to go to the mosque. And Zuleika, I want to go to the mosque. And Zuleika was like, okay, girl, I will come. I'll help you put on your hijab. I will tell you about the mosque and let's go. Alhamdulillah, came to my apartment, put my hijab on and we went to the mosque. And that day was just so special. Such a special memory. I will never be able to thank Zuleika enough because she told me so much about wudu. She took me to the actual prayer area in the mosque, you know, and I've never been inside before. And then we got talking to some Muslim reverts there at the mosque. And at that point, I was asking them a lot about clothing. I was asking them like, how did you feel wearing this, wearing this? And they were like, look, it's just all part of the journey. Thank you. 
you can't fight these things, you know? If you have to wear a certain weight, then we have to wear a certain weight, that's all. And I was like, okay. And we can fast forward to Ramadan 2023. Yeah. I decided to try fasting during Ramadan, try the whole Ramadan experience again. But this time was a little bit different because not only was I focusing on like the food fasting, I was delving deep into Islam. It reminded me of how I felt when I first explored Islam back in 2019 in the Islamic studies classes. I felt this urge again, like, I need to learn more. And again, I was reading for books, uh, you know, the Woman in Islam book, Quran a little bit, Hadith a little bit, and just exploring Islam in a way more religious fashion. Nobody can speed up anyone's journey. My journey was four years. And I thought to myself, it's now or never, you know? You can't keep holding on to something. You either do it or you don't. And it was getting to a point where I had to just make a decision. And of course I have to still refer back to the Quran and the Hadith religiously because that is what the creator gave us as guidance. Well, Alhamdulillah, I decided at the start of November, it's time to take my shahada. I just chose a religious path because it's the right one. And there's one God and I prayed to this God.